Hey guys, happy February. Uh, it's been a month since I've been in this content planner. I showed you a video where I flipped through the whole thing and explained everything. Um, that's linked up in the corner if you want to watch that one first. Today I'm going to be sort of going back and telling you what's changed, what's different, how I'm using it, and how it's going a month in. So here we are. This is my Happy Notes Mini. Um, I went ahead, I created a dashboard at the very front. This is a Kanban board for me. So I've got my to do here, doing and done. And sometimes in busy weeks, or if I feel like I really need to just like have an extra productivity tool, uh, I will use this with some sticky notes. I have done that for a few weeks, but then the, the downside to that is that it takes a little bit of setup at the beginning. Um, and so this current week, I'm not using it. Um, instead, I'll show you what we're doing. So the first tab here is going to be all of my content planning stuff. So I've rearranged the order of things. Um, previously, I think I had a, a Peanuts Planner Co. foldout that was too small. Um, this is a My Summer Touch insert that lists everything. It has the weekends already highlighted, so it's great. Um, I've just highlighted every day that has something coming out. Um, it's all color coded for different kinds of videos and blog posts and such. Uh, the very right column is a check mark when I have my Instagram post for that day scheduled. And then the column next to it, I check off when the video or what blog post for that day is ready to go. So this keeps me on track. Um, it's got March and April on the back and then um, the rest of the years back here in the back of this section. So this is last month's Gantt chart. This is the one that I showed you when I set it up. I did a whole video about that. So basically all of my deliverables along this side, time goes this way. And then I highlight like the week or so in advance that I want to be working on a particular project. Um, and so I kept up with this. It worked pretty well. You'll notice I did do a couple little notes and things here. I went ahead and wrote it down sort of a key for what that means. But I didn't end up copying this onto this next month's Gantt chart because it's pretty self-explanatory. I basically just use the first two letters of every word. So PR for prep, FI for film. And I'm able to look at it really quickly and go, oh, I know what dr means. That means draft. So um, this is the new one for the new month. I used a different size so that it goes all the way top to bottom. It only folds out halfway. Um, this is working just fine. It's got you know February here and then a little bit of March. I did a, a vertical line for the end of the week instead of highlighting the weekends. I just think it's a little bit tidier that way. Um, and I have not gone and like highlighted horizontally yet, but it's exactly the same, but it just starts here with the beginning of February now and it will go into March. So I'm gonna remake that every month. This guy I, made, I remake once a week. So this is um, just my to-do list for the week. I think I haven't, yeah, I haven't updated it since a couple days ago. Um, because anyway, this morning I, I did some of these things and right now obviously I'm doing this. So basically I go through, you know, my, my, what my schedule is for the week. And so I'm filming this this week. So I need to get this video and then Sunday's video done. So those are right here. Then I look ahead to the next week. I have to pick what the blog pop blog post is going to be about Thursday's and Sunday's video. I can pick a couple of things that I can work on for that. And then like next Sunday's video, I don't want to film this week. So I already have it prepped, but I'm going to film it next week. So there's nothing on here that needs to get done for that this week. But there's a couple things that I can do for some of the other things for next week to get a little bit ahead. And then after that, these are things that are farther in the future. So the last section is just um, like farther in the future items that if they get done this week, if I have lots of extra time, here we go. Here's some things to work on. So every weekend I sit down and I make uh, this list for the week so that I have a checklist to, to work off of. And that's where this little flag I hate this so much. I got these as like a freebie and I don't even remember where. It was an, I don't know, an Etsy order or a Facebook marketplace order. They're fine. I just, they're really thick. And so I was given like a half stack of them left. Um, 
And it took me like six attempts to peel one off without getting any of the one in front or the one behind. It's just really poorly made. Anyway, this is another list of things to do that aren't like specifically this week. Um, here, I'll show you. This is an actual lived in goal planning insert. I keep showing you this kind of blank. This is the collab video that I did last Sunday or sorry, last Saturday. Um, so I had some tasks along here to get done. This is like the topic. This was the, you know, the day I needed to pick the time. I ended up just not needing to write that down. But, um, so, you know, these are some details and these are some to do's. Um, this is something that's upcoming. You can watch out for that. You know, if you're my loyal fans, you can keep an eye out. I'd like to move to being called Gunchy Plans on all platforms, but I need to do some prep so that that doesn't fall apart totally. Um, and so I have to take some notes on it. It's going to be in a while because I haven't gotten to it yet. There's videos, ideas, and then um, the extras. Here's May, June, July through December, and then an extra spare Gantt chart fold out because I had to print extras when uh, my how to print inserts video, link in the corner, uh, was having some technical difficulties. So the second tab here is video project pages and blog post project pages. I'll show you the very first one because this is actually, again, last Saturday's collab video. Um, I just, you know, had a piece of paper. I wrote the title and then a couple notes. Um, I ended up expanding on this because I ended up drafting some a little bit more on my keyboard and doing it on the computer. But this was the, the start of the project planning. Um, and a lot of times just having a place to jot down notes is useful. So I'm not going to show you the rest because those are in the future, but that's what's in this section. And then the third tab is general like house projects and stuff. Um, one of the reasons I picked this format and this size is so that I could do this, and have a little bit more real estate and space um, to take notes for things for the house or whatever. So first of all, this is like a, an inbox things to move to and from my main everyday carry planner. This is a Sunday maybe list in theory. It's not yet, obviously. And then we've got another a uh, sticky note index here. So first my backyard project. Then there's some channel development notes on this next page. Then bridal shower stuff. I'm planning a bridal shower for my brother and, and uh, his fiance. And then I have some notes about some stuff I'm doing with my Hogwarts. And then that's it. It's just a lot of the same note pages. And eventually, I guess I'll run out. Maybe I'll just grab some more from Michael's because, you know, I don't really care what it looks like. It's just note pages. <laughs> and uh, this is working out for me. So I hope you found that useful, interesting. If you're coming up with any sort of ideas for a content planner for yourself, um, leave your thoughts and comments below, obviously. And I will see you in the next video. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it. I will see you on Sunday. <laughs> Bye. Thank you.